Good morning, everyone. It is Monday morning. It's almost noon, actually. Tomorrow and the day after will be full days of lab work. And then I have a bunch of meetings going on this week that are all in person. Weather is so gloomy outside. It's raining, it's soggy. I'm gonna see you guys back at my place. The weather? Yeah, the snow tonight. Just did some cleaning up. Last time that I was here, it was my exam day. So I left my place in a pretty big mess. I do have some work ahead of me. I'm just gonna get a couple of hours of work done and then we're probably gonna go to the gym and then keep doing work until midnight. It is back to work schedule. It's not the weekend anymore. I actually didn't end up making it to the gym because as I was literally getting dressed, I found out that there's actually a weather advisory tonight. It's fairly windy and it's snowing quite a bit. Now I'm gonna have dinner, so it's just chicken breasts. And then this is Taiwanese sticky rice. It's basically sticky rice rolled into a log. I think that's gonna be the end of our day today and I'll see you tomorrow in the lab. Tuesday morning, and I'm headed into the lab now. It's gonna be a long day. I'm gonna get in for 10 a.m. and then probably finish around 4. It's so cold today. It's actually snowing all of last night, and I'm glad I didn't go to the gym. Let's see if I can go. It is right now almost seven o'clock. I have been in the lab for eight hours today. We actually anticipated for the lab work to be done around 4 p.m. but things never go as planned so it ended up being an eight hour day instead of six hour day. I am so exhausted and the worst part is I go back tomorrow and do it again. Regardless, we gotta hit the gym because it's been four days since we went to work out. Now we're gonna have a pre-workout meal. Just gonna have a piece of bread and some mackerel, which is from Costco. This is so good. I'm also gonna have some pastries. I'm literally running late again. I think I sat down at 6.30 after I got home. I'm like, yeah, I have some time. I'll just do some work. I blink and it's two hours. The gym closes in literally less than an hour and a half. So we'll see how this leg day goes. So for dinner tonight, this leftover braised beef from the weekend and some bread and then I also air fried some veggies. So it's almost 11 p.m. I think I'm just gonna do half an hour of work just to finish up the work for the day. Go and take a shower and head to bed a little early. Tomorrow will be another super long lab day. I'll see you guys then. It's Wednesday for the first time. I'm actually not in a rush today. We are gonna head into lab. It's gonna be a very long and late night 
and I don't know if I'm ready for that. I'm aiming to leave around 6, 7 p.m. just like yesterday. It is probably doable. It's almost 10 o'clock. I didn't get to do much talking today because I was in the lab the whole day. My Eliza's did not work out today, so I have to do it all again tomorrow. The plan tomorrow will be to wake up at 6 a.m. so that I can make it to lab around 7.30. In the afternoon, I have to leave by 3.30 to make a meeting. I'm gonna have some dinner, just the last bit of the beef brisket. It's I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. It's 10.30. Here's basically what happened. So I spent all of yesterday doing this whole experiment. It took about 10 hours of my time. I find out the experiment didn't work out. So I'm like, okay, well, I gotta come back in and redo the entire experiment. And this experiment requires me to prep the night before. I start working to realize I prepped my experiment last night completely wrong. I just effed the plates. That means that I spent the entire morning basically re-prepping again and I'm gonna do the experiment tomorrow. I was really, really, really hoping not to have to go in tomorrow because tomorrow's Friday and in a couple days it's the Christmas break which means no one works tomorrow. But here we are. I'm gonna try to get some work done and then wake up again at 6.30 in the morning tomorrow. I'm gonna do some work now. About to head out to the gym now. Today, I am not gonna be late. I am not going to run late. Today's meeting is super, super important. So I don't have the option to be late. mask on because it's just so cold and windy outside that it keeps my face warm. I'll talk to you guys after. So meeting is done. I am so tired. I feel like I say this every single day but really today I'm actually so tired. I just wanted to turn on the camera because do you hear the drumming in the back? 
that has been going on for the past half hour and it doesn't seem like it'll stop. I'm not sure what they're drumming about. It usually doesn't happen on a Thursday night. It's not a public holiday today either, so I'm just confused why they're still doing this. I hope they stop soon because I want to work in silence. Plan for tonight, get to bed by 10 or 11 p.m. Tomorrow, I plan on waking up even earlier than today. But yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit more work and enjoy the drumming in the background, and then I'm gonna go make dinner. It's 8 p.m. and they're still drumming, but this is just dinner. Salmon, veggies, and bread. I'm hoping all of my assays go well tomorrow because I really don't want to repeat this again. I'm gonna go take a shower and head to bed, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. So it's 7.45, I'm the only person in this giant room because no one comes in to work on the last Friday before Christmas, aiming for seven hours. Let's see how it goes. which involves hundreds of these tiny plastic tubes. And I am done with all. About four hours to go between samples. I have to throw out pipette tips that I've used on another sample so I don't things together but that means a lot of waste and a lot of plastic so this is how much plastic i've used so far look at all the pipette tips this entire bucket is full and i'm gonna dump out more so much plastic finally done. I just have to read this plate. Wish me luck. We left the lab. While the sun is still out, I call this mission accomplished. Hi guys. I'm so tired. Can you tell? It's almost four o'clock. Work is not fully done. So all of today, things went pretty well, I will say. At the very, very last step, there was like a technical difficulty with the computer. Um, took a little bit longer than expected. Still, it wasn't too bad. I think all the data turned out well. I'm just gonna stick my USB into the computer and just take a look now. So hopefully, I won't have to repeat this. So it is now 9 p.m. I had like a raging headache because I just lay down in bed and took a nap 
it was the best nap ever. I just woke up, but we're gonna go over to my friends for a holiday party. By the time I get there, it'll be like 11 p.m. So I'll just visit for a couple hours just to say hi to everyone. I'm gonna get ready now. Let's do a fun transition. I'm probably just gonna take 20 minutes, just like a quick get ready. Three, two, one. I basically just judged up my bangs a little bit with a curler and then I just put on some makeup to not look like I woke up at 6 a.m. today. I also just packed up my room so that I can go home. Essentially, I just have that giant bag over there full of clothes for at least the next week and a half or so. And then my computer and everything is here. I better get going so that I don't arrive at midnight at the party. I'm gonna go and drive over to my friends now. Maybe I'll talk to you guys more after. I'll just preemptively say goodbye for now. I can't believe it's this late. I didn't really get to film much at the party because there were lots of people there, but I just chatted up with some old friends, ended up staying there so late. Like, you know, one of those moments where you're like, oh, I'll stay for another five minutes. I'll just finish up this conversation. And then you end up staying for like three hours. That's exactly what happened. I'm very tired. That is my entire week before the Christmas break. It's been a really hectic week. Tomorrow is the 23rd and then the day after will be Christmas Eve and I'm really looking forward to just sleeping in. That will be it for this vlog. Hope you guys liked the lab content because there's much much more to come. Thanks for sticking around and I'll see you guys later.